Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another edition of Standard Spike. Uh, last week I did definitely say I wasn't going to be playing Standard again, but uh, it turns out I found a deck that I actually like right now. Um, so, like, I figured the problems with Rug Pod were that it really can't be zombies. Uh, well, it can, but it's not a good matchup, I'll say. And uh, <clears throat> even against the rest of the format, the deck was not uh, up to par. Uh, the Hellrider plan was really, really awesome, I thought, but I, I wanted to try something better against zombies primarily. So I decided to play White for Blade Splicer and Restoration Angel, which are notoriously good against zombies. Um, so now we're at Bant Pod, and I think it's actually a really good direction for the deck to take. Uh, it's definitely not as, as explosive as uh, Rug Pod is, but it also functions much better when you don't draw a pod. Uh, between the Restoration Angel and the Thrag Tusk, you can accumulate advantages uh, without the Bricking Pod. And as well as Gavney Township, that's actually a really big one. Uh, in, in Rug, you could play Wolf Run, but Township uh, usually creates a much better board presence uh, than Wolf Run does. I and mean, you could even get to play more than one in uh, this deck because the mana base is a little bit better. And we're even playing Red still uh, for Zealous Conscripts. And, uh, you know, these guys in the board. And it's basically free because we get to play Cavern of Souls for Human, and we have a pair of Copperline Gorges to go with it. We don't even bother with the Mountain because, uh, well, we could Ranger for it, sure, but the, we don't actually want to draw this card anyway, so we're just going to rely on the uh, five lands and the four birds to be able to cast it from our hand, which should be enough uh, almost all of the time. Um, so other creature types we have, we have Bird. Which is unfortunate if you have to name Bird on turn 1, especially with Delver being so popular. Or rather, just Gutshot being popular. Um, so that's kind of bad. But other than that, it's not a whole big deal. Actually getting to name certain things against Delver is actually relevant for us, just to keep them from being countered, like Beast or Angel. Uh, if the mana is working out fine for us, then we get to do that. Or, you know, just having our humans and being uncounterable is also good. Um... We have three images, three visionaries, and one Thalia. Thalia is kind of random. It was a fourth visionary, but I just decided, like, having one of this card is not the worst. Uh, it's great against Delver. It's fine against a lot of other decks, and it really doesn't hinder us whatsoever. And a 2-1 for a striking guy is usually not that bad. Um, I suppose we can tutor for it, but it's really not there just to be tutored for. It's just there to be a one of a guy. Uh, three images is kind of a lot, but this deck has a lot of things to do with those images, and drawing them is not uh, not bad at all. Actually, last week, after playing Rug Pod, I decided... Actually, I can't remember if I had three images at the time, but I decided I wanted a third image anyway. Uh, just because drawing them, drawing them at the right time is really powerful. Uh, drawing them at the wrong time is kind of weak, but in this deck and in Rug Pod, you just have a lot of creatures to work with, so it's not a big deal usually. Um... Blade Splicer, huge against zombies, like the entire reason to play white. Uh, Restoration Angel is obviously great too, um, but to be honest, I think Huntmaster is still on par with Restoration Angel, at the very least. But when we're on the we're on this Thrag Tusk Blade Splicer plan kind of thing, so Angel gets a lot more powerful there. Uh, potting for Angel is usually not too strong, especially early game when you could like normally pot for Huntmaster because you almost always have nothing to blink. Like the only time you do is like uh, bird into visionary. I don't know how does this work. It's bird into visionary. I don't know, it doesn't work that way either. How did it work? I cannot recall now. But uh, yeah, it just doesn't happen very often. Usually when you pod for it, you have nothing. So you just do that so that you can go get the Sun Titan the turn afterwards, which is usually pretty good in, in a lot of matchups. Uh, two rangers. We play uh, two instead of just one because we our mana base is not a fantastic. Uh, one deceiver exarch to go from two to four like usual, but in this deck it's a lot worse because we're not going from from two to huntmaster. We're just going to restoration angel or metamorph. Uh, I just talked about why that's worse. We could play a one huntmaster actually. Um, we can definitely afford to do that. Uh, I was just opposed to it at first because I didn't want the mana to be an issue. Uh, but we could probably shave something. Borderline Ranger, Thalia, probably, um, for a Huntmaster. I could consider that in the future. 
Um, for birthing pod, no explanation necessary. Uh, these guys are already pretty standard. Four Thrag Tusk, that's a big thing here. There's not a lot of decks that play four Thrag Tusk. They might play a few, two, um, you know. But I feel like the card is just amazing against the top two decks, which would be, you know, Zombies and Delver. So why not just play four? And, like, in this deck, it's really good, too, because you get to clone it and blink it and sacrifice it. So just four. And it's been great so far. Conscripts, uh, us the usual, goes up to Sun Titan, just game ends games sometimes when you when you clone it repeatedly. Um, the mana base is pretty uh, pretty good. We have one of each of these basics, six forests, which gives us a total of twelve green sources on turn one plus cavern. So if we're, we have pilgrim, uh, so we actually have more than twelve green sources on turn one. We have four coasts, which we don't necessarily need all four of, uh, but we do have a few card, white cards that we want to have access to multiple white for. Sun Titan, Elish Norn, uh, and if our cavern's on human, then that can't cast these two cards. Uh, there's also Township. Cavern cannot activate that either. Um, and then we only have a few blue cards, so we definitely are overkill in the blue mana, but that's okay. It's not really a big deal. We actually do want to be able to cast those. Uh, now for the sideboard, we have a good number of singletons because, I mean, that's really all this deck wants in the board. Because uh, we have we have a bunch of removal, we'll get to that in a second, and then everything else is singleton, just to be tutored for. Um, so we have the best ones available to us, slime for en obviously enchantments and lands. Uh, for the artifacts, we have mana candle as well. Uh, he's a hu he's a human. Uh, we have extra conscripts, which is uh, fantastic against certain matchups. Malira for poison. Hero. Uh, I actually had two heroes and a silver heart at one point, but uh, they kind of serve the same purpose. And I and I think the hero is better because it's uh, it's in the four drop slot, which is which is less powerful. Uh, whereas the five drop slot has plenty of stuff going on already. Um, and then, so we're down to one instead of the three copies of that uh, that type of card uh, just because we don't really need a lot of that card it turns out um, silver hearts is also not really necessary uh, in this type of a deck sometimes it's great but you know sometimes hero is great too actually it could it could go either way actually hero or silver heart we're just gonna go with hero for now it's a human so uh, ghost quarter for you know wolf run uh, not 100% necessary. I'm I've not played the matchup yet, so I don't know if we really need it. It's also actually good against poison, so that's a good upside for that. Uh, the poison matchup is kind of weak, so if we can have any uh, splash cards that hurt that matchup, that's perfectly fine. Um, I think we're bringing a ton of cards against ramp, or we're already really good. We have slime, conscripts, hero. Uh, yeah, I just really haven't played it, so it's really hard to say how good we are. Uh, Fiend Hunter, just so we can tutor for removal against some decks. Elish Norn, just to go over the top of a lot of decks in the format. Uh, specifically ones that don't have removal. Just very creature-oriented, like the green decks. Uh, and then we have a good number of removal. Uh, I just wanted to crush zombies into the ground, so Force also purges. Uh, and then I... I, the, dis the infect matchup was bad and I wanted the best card for that matchup so I turned to dismember which I'm not sure is the best card but I figure a lot of the time they won't see it coming uh, Malira is definitely not the best card though because uh, they always they always are prepared for that they have to be they have their own dismembers they have their own Malira to zenith for <clears throat> hell sometimes they can kill you through it typically with the, uh, the enchantment but uh Having one is great because you can just pod for it. Like it's the only thing you can pod for that matters, except for Spellskite. But they're definitely bringing the Corruptors, uh, so Spellskite doesn't really matter a whole lot. So the one, the one Malira, and then the trio of Dismember. So that's the whole deck. And before we just get into business here, I will say that this is going to be the last time I play Standard uh, for this season. We have very little time left with this season. Um, and this is the last deck I'm really interested in. So I'm going to figure out something for next week. Um, like modern, modern, I can't really get a, gri I can't get a, a grasp on. Um, I'm not really liking my blue-white deck a whole lot right now. 
but I don't know what else to play. So uh, we'll just have to see what happens, figure something out. Popper, Popper is a potential thing. Uh, same thing though, really. Uh, there's not a lot of decks I like, except for the one I'm playing, which is really boring. I just happened to play, you know, three mirror matches the one time I, I did a video on that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started then.